another unbagging for Merch Monthly. Merch Monthly is a fandom subscription bag based in Australia. It's $13 a month and you usually get between two to four items related to a theme for the month. The bag usually contains accessories, bracelets, rings, earrings, bookmarks, key rings, all those kinds of lovely goodies. The $13 also includes the shipping, so it's actually one of the cheapest you can get. Let's open this lovely bag. Okay, let's have a look see pee As you can see, there is some lovely goodies in there. First item is a bookmark. It's a really awesome bookmark. It's a bookmark with all the different quotes from different books. There's Eleanor and Park, Deathly Hallows, Book Thieves, My Sister's Keeper, Fault in Our Stars, Seabiscuit, Perks of Being a Wallflower, Catcher in the Rye, Deathly Hallows again. Yes. Um, Wonder and Paper Towns. Feel free to pause the video so you can have a read of them. To be honest though, I haven't actually read many on here. Deathly Hallows, yes. Uh, Paper Towns, only because a friend gave it to me. I've seen The Book Thief. I haven't read it though. Oh, Lord of the Rings, how did I miss that? Being a bookworm, bookmarks come in super handy, so thank you so much, it's awesome. The next item must be one of the suppliers for this month. It's a discount code for the perks of being a Weasley, and it says I get 20% off my next purchase, which is awesome, because it looks like they do some really interesting tops. Not just Harry Potter related though, because they've got some stuff here from Paper Towns or the Alaska one, whatever that's called. So I'll put a link to them down below so you can go and check them out for yourself anyway. I'm not sure what we've gotten from them though. There's actually a sticker for the perks of being a Weasley as well. And I have to admit, if this was something that was real in the Wizarding World, I'd probably shop there. That is an awesome logo. Totally awesome. Now I think we're gonna to get to the goodies. The first item is a bracelet. It seems really small, but it's actually quite flexible. That's the word I'll go with. It fits very snug on your wrist. It actually bends quite a fair bit, so if you have a bigger wrist like I do, then you will definitely be able to fit into it. It's a very nice, simple design. There's some bubbling of the gold plating, but otherwise it's quite nice. But to be honest, this doesn't really kind of give away what the theme is. It's when you get to the next thing I pulled out, which happens to be a brooch, that you kind of go, oh, no, I get it now, I get it. So the theme is obviously Hunger Games. Now this is something cool, this is something I would wear. I have of course read them and I have seen them, well, what's been released so far. It's a really nice design, I could see myself wearing this. The detail on the wings is pretty intricate as well, so it is a quite a nice piece. And so the last piece, which I've just realised as I'm feeling it inside the bag, actually has two things in there. So the first thing is a pair of earrings. I don't actually have my ears pierced. I've got a bit of a bung ear, so it would look weird for me if I had one pierced and one that I couldn't pierce. So these will definitely be a gift or a part of a giveaway for someone else. It's just an arrow for each ear. Simple again, but really quite nice. I actually like the color of these as well. They're not so far out there. And again, the detail on the arrowheads themselves and the feathers is really nice. A lovely addition for those people who really like the Hunger Games. And then we get to the final piece, which is a necklace. And so you can see again, it's just a simple Mockingjay design. The chain is a decent length for someone like myself with a big neck, <laughs> but that's not too bad. I usually like them to sit a little lower. It's kind of that, that rustic kind of vintage look, and that's what I like. Do they meet the theme? Most of them do. This one stumps me, so <laughs> if someone could point out to me what the bracelet is actually meant to represent, that would be great. If I had to choose my favorite item, it'd probably be the brooch, followed closely by the necklace. So what did you guys think? Does it meet the theme? What piece was your favorite? Let me know in the comments section down below. Again, if you're interested in checking out this bag for yourself, you can hit them up at the website in the description or even check them out on Instagram. I'll leave their Instagram name down below as well. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button if it takes your fancy. And until next time, you guys take care of yourself and keep out. <laughs> and this is what is on it. 
I haven't seen it yet, so I can't comment about it, but 